There's been a lot of community attention over the last few years about herbicide runoff into the Great Barrier Reef Lagoon. A lot of growers are asking, do they really need to apply a pre-emergent herbicide when they're in a trash blanket return system? Trash is one of your best friends when it comes to weed control. Trials in Mackay over the last few years have shown that quite often an early pre-emergent does not give you any yield benefit compared to a late knockdown herbicide strategy. The reasons for this include the fact that a good trash blanket suppresses annual weeds, particularly annual grasses, and also delays the germination of other annual weeds, such as vines. By the time vines germinate, quite often a residual herbicide has lost its activity. For good annual weed suppression, you need around about an 80 tonne to the hectare crop to provide enough trash. Another situation where pre-emergent is not warranted is where you have a low soil seed bank and if you have a low soil seed bank you'll probably have a low germination. In this case the cost of applying a pre-emergent herbicide it will be greater than the extra income you receive from that treatment. In dry conditions like we have here at the moment in Mackay, dry conditions slow down or delay the germination of weeds as well. Again, so an early pre-emergent herbicide will not have much of an effect. If your main weeds are perennial weeds, such as sickle pod or blackberry nightshade, and these are reshooting from underground stems or tubers or tap roots, then a pre-emergent will have no effect on them, and in which case you'll need to use a systemic knockdown. Situations in which an early pre-emergent herbicide may be warranted include those situations where you have a light trash blanket or a large soil seed bank, and in which case a pre-emergent applied soon after harvest is probably going to give you some yield increases and be economic. So generally in a trash return system, if your previous crop yield was 80 tonne to the hectare and less, and or you have a high weed seed bank, then a pre-emergent applied soon after harvest will be economic and probably give you some yield increases. If your previous crop was 80 tonne to the hectare and above, and or you have a low weed seed bank, an early pre-emergent will probably not be cost effective and would be better off applying a late knockdown treatment. Whichever strategy you decide to use, remember that the best long-term solution for weed management is to reduce the weed seed bank in the soil. Whether you decide to use a late knockdown strategy or an early pre-emergent strategy, yield increases from these can give you around about 10% increase in yield. And this equates to around about $110 to $170 per hectare extra income after your herbicide costs and harvesting costs.